Leo, happy birthday, Leo. Hello, hello, and welcome to your August Psychic Tarot reading. Now, before I move on, please have in mind that this is a general reading, so the messages that will come through may or may not resonate. If you're interested in a personal reading, all the information you need is below in the description box. Okay, so saying that, moving on to your reading. Leo, August 2024 for Leo. Knight of Cups. Leo. The Sun. Love is all around. There is an, um, an, an accomplishment. I'm seeing an accomplishment here. You feel uh, that you are accomplishing something or that you have already done that. Um, there's a lot of um, peace and, and harmony. Okay, Leo? Yes? There is an abundant energy that is surrounding you and you are becoming aware of it. Yes, and you are very grateful for that, Leo. Spending time with loved ones, a lot of cups, ace of cups, three of cups. Okay, it's a very healing energy for your heart. Mm -hmm. A lot of you also have changed your perspective when it comes to relationships in, in life, in, in, in life in general. Okay, ace of pentacles. Two more shuffles, please, for Leo. August 2024 for Leo. Some of you are also single. Maybe you have been single for quite some time. And even though you are open and ready for love, um, you're not searching for it. Okay? Rom I'm talking about romantic love here now. Okay? Okay. So we are ready. So you're open to romantic love, but you're not searching for it. You're not this. You're not desperate, Leo. Not at all. You're living your best life. As I said, you already have people around you that care for you. Love is all around. So, yes. Now, on the bottom of the deck, we have the fool. Now, I'm really getting that this is some kind of a new adventure. Okay. First card, the lovers. Leo the Lovers. Okay. Ace of Wands. I'm excited for you. Very much so. Because I feel that a lot of you are going to experience something totally new something that you haven't experienced before and i feel it is related to romantic love okay leo we have the five of pentacles the two of cups the the knight of cups and finally temperance now if you notice here temperance this is angel gabriel is holding two cups and we also see that here. So this is exciting, Leo. Exciting. Now, maybe you already met someone new. Maybe this is something that is just, just started. Okay. We'll see. Now, another thing for those of you that are new on my channel, I don't intend my readings to be love readings. Okay. Just to make that clear. But if love shows up, then, you know, hello, look at, look. <laughs> yeah, you know. Cannot ignore it. And why would I? Now, some of you have been in marriages that did not work out. Okay. Um, I, I just heard that uh, it was a failure. Okay. So again, your long-term relationships or um, commitments, marriages, marriage did not um, 
was not successful, okay? This maybe also took you in a place of like really wondering if you would ever give someone the chance to come close to you, to give someone a chance to uh, maybe give yourself a chance when it comes to romantic love. <clears throat> okay. So let's start clarifying. Starting with the lovers for Leo. Clarifying, please, the lovers for Leo. This is a soulmate energy with the Six of Cups. Mm -hmm. Soulmate contract, soulmate connection. That is romantic, okay? Seven of Cups. Some of you maybe had options in the past, but you just didn't take a chance on them. Maybe because you are you were already in a marriage or in a relationship, or maybe you did not you did not want to, right? You yes, your I mean your priority was something else. <clears throat> maybe, maybe for some of you there is a bit of regret um not taking chances yes or opportunities to <clears throat> have romantic experiences yes could be could be for some of you or maybe at that time you felt that these options were not the right ones and maybe yeah probably they were not but there is a little bit of sense, a little bit of sense of regret, you know? Why not? You know? Or maybe you're like, if I did take that chance, where would I be today with this person? Would that work out? Would, would, yes, would, would, it, would it would work out? Where would, yes, where would I be if I was to take that chance, that opportunity with that specific person? Mm. So, can we find the Ace of Wands for Leo, please? Interesting. We have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Again, we see a new, a new opportunity that is, that is rising, okay? Again, this is, is more about your, um, your life in general, okay? This, I feel that this could also be romantic. Yes, why not? But... Um, It feels more like an opportunity that is rising here, that is occurring, if I can say that. That can give you the chance to live experience, to live something, to experience to have an experience that you did not have. But again, I don't want to narrow that down only to, to romance. It's more than that, okay? I really feel that this is more about you enjoying your life and living your best life and letting go of this past version of you that was stopping you. That, yes, silencing that voice inside that was, again, slowing you down or not 
allowing you to fully enjoy things, fully enjoy life, fully enjoy yourself, if I can say that, okay? So we do, again, I sense um, a childlike energy, an excitement, enthusiasm, followed by opportunities to express, to enjoy to the fullest, okay? With no, um, with, with, without you being like reserved. I hope I'm using the right words, yes? Without you holding back, overthinking, okay? Yes. So, go find the Five of Pentacles. Again, I'm getting that flirtatious energy. Okay. I'm also getting that. Being open to flirt. So find the five of pentacles for Leo. We have the seven of pentacles. Again, there is this disappointment that is coming in. That um, regret or disappointment of, of, you know, living your life, yes, but not to the fullest, okay? And this is definitely something that you are looking into, something that you want to change. Okay, okay Leo, yes. Now, clarifying, please, the five of pentacles with the seven of pentacles for Leo. Thank you. Justice. Again, with justice, we see that there is going to be more than just one opportunities that will rise for you to bring justice, to bring justice to yourself, yeah? So these are like karmic rewards and it's just like really up to you if you will grab, grab them, accept them or not. But again, I see a lot of you are accepting this, you're open to this, right? Yes. And this could also be work related. I just saw the three of pentacles. For some of you, it is also work related. Maybe both, right? Work related, but also this is um, when it comes to your personal life. Justice, star, very healing energy, healing energy. Again, this also is a wish or a desire that maybe never came into fruition. There you are, Leo, queen of wands. We also have the King of Wands on the bottom of the deck. I also see Leo here wanting to express their disappointment when it comes to a certain individual. And it's not about taking revenge or wanting to hurt the other person. This is really has to do with liberation, with freedom, with your freedom, Leo. Liberating yourself from a, a, something like a dark spot or, 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 or. To find the Queen of Wands, Leo energy, thank you. We have the Knight of Pentacles. This is, uh, yes, this is very strong. 
mm, to free yourself, to liberate yourself from a thought, from a feeling, from a pattern that is worn out. Mm -hmm. And we're seeing here the sun that is coming out to shine, to shine upon you, Leo. And you're facing the sun with confidence, with grace. So there are no more shadows. Again, I said a dark spot that could be a shadow that you want to let go of, that you want to release. Mm -hmm. And it's about time. That's what I heard. It's about time. Most of the times, people that we interact with mirror their own insecurities, their own dark spots onto us. And we take it as it is our shadow, our darkness, when it's not. It's there. It's theirs. It's their energy, their shadow, their darkness. But we, for some reason, we, we, we take it as our own. You are aware that this is not yours to, to carry and that it's time for you to let it go, to free yourself from this, okay? Leo, very deep uh, reading, strong deep reading here. <clears throat> Leo is starting to love themselves. You're starting to love yourself and respect yourself and honor yourself and wanting to live your best life. And a lot of you are in that space. You are already in that space, okay? But still there are small little bits, bits and pieces that you need to take care of, okay? It's like um, tying loose ends, right? Okay. Clarifying the Two of Cups for Leo, please. You'll find the two of cups for Leo. We have the five of cups. You'll find the five of cups and the two of cups for Leo. The two of swords. You are detaching from a specific individual, or you are, um, considering fully completely detaching yourself from this person doesn't have to be romantic okay but um or maybe uh you are just detaching from a certain expectation um when it comes to this person that could have could be like um accepting you or right or it could be about recognition acceptance, forgiveness, um, um, you are, again, you're choosing to free yourself from um, any kind of expectations when it comes to a certain individual here that is emotionally unavailable, emotionally immature. And a lot of you have a long history with this person. Not necessarily long, but you have a history with this person. Yeah. Clarifying, please, the Knight of Cups. I totally feel that this is you. Mm -hmm. Holding a full cup of love here. Your cup is full of love, Leo. You are extending this cup of love. It could be to a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be.
It doesn't have to be an earth sign. But the person that you're ex extending your cup to is someone that really appreciates you. And they have shown you many times how much you mean to them. This could be a family member, again, a sibling, a, a very good friend. Or for some of you, this could also be a new partner. Or this could just say that you are again open to romantic love. You're open, your cup is full of love and you are ready to offer to someone that deserves it. You are open also to receive here, Leo, okay? To find the Knight of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles for Leo. We have the Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? Mm. Trauma from this King of Wands. We have Leo Sagittarius, Aries. Again, it doesn't have to be a fire sign. We see the difference here. We see two opposite energies coming from you. We see your loving energy, your compassion, your loving, your empathic kind of energy here towards this queen of pentacles that again could be any sign but again this person as i said is someone that has proven to you all that will prove to you that they honor you and respect you look how is your energy towards this person look at your energy towards this person you're offering again uh, you're offering you, you are offering them your cup and then we have this individual here that this is, I feel, someone that, as I said, you have history with. Um, this five of swords energy between you and this person is um, something that keeps going on and on in cycles. But again, this is someone I feel that has a lot of trauma. They do carry narcissistic traits, Leo. You, know, you know who they are. You know who they are. And uh, again, you're, you're keeping your distance here. But I feel that a lot of you maybe will be standing up for yourselves when it comes to this person. Because still, as I said, there is something that needs to be addressed or something needs to be um, come, something that needs to come to an end that has been hurting you with the Three of Swords. Do you find, please, this King of Wands, Five of Swords energy, King of Wands, Five of Swords energy, we have the Nine of Swords. Illusional, delusional, someone that lives in the past. Someone, again, that is toxic, traumatized, toxic, but there you are. You are a strong person. You are represented here with strength card. Mm -hmm. You are this. You are strong. Stronger than you realize many times. Yes? This is also has a lot of... Uh, this energy has a lot of compassion. A lot of forgiveness. Compassion. Forgiveness. Yes? This is all about taming the beast, first within. Then when you, when you accomplish, when, when you accomplish that, when you accomplish um, when you are able to tame the beast within, 
you can tame any beast around. Yes. Clarifying temperance. Clarifying temperance for Leo. Again, Angel Gabriel here is holding two cups. Something is being prepared here for you. It's beautiful. I feel, I see and feel the beauty. Something that you have been waiting for and wishing for, Leo. Maybe it's taking more time. But it's yours. It's yours. Page of Cups. I am getting some kind of satisfaction here. Um, justice on your side. Satisfaction. Mm. Um, again, this is something that you have been waiting for. Maybe it's just like justice. Maybe you have been just waiting for justice to be served. Yes. We do see a lot of wisdom here with the hermit. As I said earlier, a lot of you have been single for quite some time. Judgment. The frankly, is the hermit. <laughs> Judgment. You really wanted to come out. And I saw, uh, again, this, um, I saw him. I saw him anyway. Okay. Now, judgment, again, is uh, all about reevaluating um, circumstances and situations and getting answers, getting clarity that is very, very much liberating, Leo, okay? And you have a lot of help here and a lot of support from the higher realms, from your guides, spirit, angels, God, the universe, you can call it whatever you want. Mm. To find please judgment for Leo. Thank you. This is your victory, Leo. This is your victory. Okay. So The only thing that keeps popping up is justice for you. The justice is going to be served. You are receiving what you have been waiting for. No. Let's see what message will come through regarding your well-being. Message advice. For Leo. August 2024. For Leo, thank you. Be present. Your full presence is the greatest gift you can give yourself and others. Life is happening right now in this moment. Today is the only day that matters. Anchor yourself in the now and give it your all. Notice the details and drink in the sweetness. Be present. And this is exactly what you're doing, Leo. Spiritual message for Leo. Please. 
for Neil. Spiritual message for Neil. Firefly, shine bright, seeing the truth, future blessings. I shine bright and light, light up in the night. Do not be fooled by appearances. Look within for the true guiding light. Your inner light is strong enough to shine brighter during the darker times of life. You have enough light within you to find your way and help others see the light too. It is time to affirm your beautiful inner nature and recognize the qualities that make you an excellent human being. Fireflies are summertime creatures, just like you, Leo, and bring the message that a winter of the soul is ending and a brighter and happier future awaits. I got goosebumps all over. And this is what I got for you, Leo. Until next time, take care. Bye. Bye-bye.